Hey, Rosalie. Goodness, what's that? This is the Skipjack Harvest Control Rule. Ooh la la. What's the Harvest Control Rule? Let me explain. The Harvest Control Rule, or HCR, is a rule pre-agreed by all stakeholders. It determines how much fishing can take place based on the stock status. Having an HCR means you don't have to spend a lot of time negotiating whenever you need to set a new catch or effort limit for your fishery. So it speeds up the decision-making process. I'm sold. But how does it work? Allow me to demonstrate. An HCR is a simple relationship between the estimated stock status, such as the estimated stock biomass, and the amount of fishing allowed, such as catch limits. The HCR is this line. Can you show me how to use it? Sure. You need to take an estimate of the stock status and locate it along the x-axis. You find out where the stock status hits the rule then read the catch limit off the y-axis. So for any value of estimated stock biomass, the HTR defines what the catch limit should be? Exactly. If the estimated stock biomass was higher, say here, then for this HTR, the catch limit will be set higher. So there are many different types of HCRs that are available. Let's have a look at these two HCRs. For the same estimate for stock biomass, each will produce a different catch limit. Which one is better? The HCR is normally designed to allow more fishing as stock grows and reduce fishing if the stock declines. Ideally, it should maintain the stock at a healthy level that will maximize the benefits. I have a question. The harvest control rule uses an estimate of stock status as an input. Where does this estimate come from? The current stock assessment? Good question. You would want to make sure that any changes in the estimated stock status is genuine and not because of any changes in the estimation method. This means you need to be consistent and use the same estimation method each time. But the stock assessments are always updated to use the best available science. This means they cannot be used as a fixed estimation method to provide inputs into the HCR. Does this mean no more stock assessment? <gasps> of course not. The stock assessment is still an important part of the harvest strategy, but now we use it in the monitoring strategy to keep a close eye on the fishery. And just like stock assessments, the estimation method needs data. These data are gathered from many different sources, such as catch statistics, observers, logbooks, tagging, and port sampling. So let me get this straight. To use a harvest control rule, to use a harvest control rule, you need data collection, plus a fixed estimation method. Data is collected, it is passed to the estimation method, which estimates stock status. The HCR then uses this to define how much fishing can take place. May I? These three components form what's called the management procedure, which sits at the heart of the harvest strategy. If any component changes, this becomes a new management procedure, and we would then need reanalysis. How do we know what management procedure we should use? You want the one that has the best chance of achieving your objectives. Well, we'll find out more in the next film. Just remember, 
that the benefits of having a management procedure can be huge. But don't just take it from me. You get greater certainty and transparency in how your fishery is managed. Decisions about management actions are made more quickly. And because management procedures are tested, the resulting action has the best chance of achieving your objective. And who decides what management procedure to use? Stakeholders do. It's their fishery after all. For a practical example on how HCRs work, please go to this link.